everyone. It feels so good to be back today, especially after such a long time, and because today I am sharing with you my brand new grimoire. Why have I created a new grimoire, I hear you ask? Well, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you will be unaware of some very, very exciting news. This news is also the reason why I was so absent from YouTube last year. I was busy writing a book. The book is called The Handmade Grimoire and the grimoire you see on the screen is what inspired it. So today I am going to flick through this new grimoire page by page. I'll show you how much is unfinished, what pages are complete and I'll talk a little bit about its creation alongside my new book. As you can see there is still so much to be done. There are many unfinished spreads but I am so pleased with how it's turning out. Each page is so different from the last and I feel that it's holding up well despite all of the info and media that I've packed into it. So let's talk about my new book. The Handmade Grimoire is out in less than two weeks on July the 11th. You can buy it online at Amazon or on bookstore websites or you can grab it in person wherever books are sold. It is published by David and Charles and if you hang around until the last five or so minutes of the video I will give you a sneak peek into its pages and into its really wonderful extras. Let's have a look at this new room one then. As you can see, I have still kept my rather eclectic journaling style. There are pockets, bags, tags, washi tape, bits and bobs all throughout the journal. And in my book, I even teach you how to gather a really extensive and varied amount of journaling supplies for hardly any money. There are some really fun features in this journal, like this spinning wheel of the year. This was done as a DIY for the book. I've left a blank page so that I can include some information at a later date. And once again, I've gone through the wheel of the year and included separate pages for the festivals, all of them very different. I had a lot of fun with textures in this grimoire and layering, but it has, as per usual, made for a very chunky, heavy book. Whilst we flick through the grimoire, I thought I would answer some questions. I asked my Instagram followers if they were curious about the book, and these are some of the questions that they had. How did you get published? Did you write the book first or approach a publisher with an idea? I was lucky enough to be approached by my wonderful editor, who asked if I had thought about writing a book about my craft. We had a couple of calls and came up with the idea of a book that helps people to create their own grimoire. Then we started brainstorming ideas, and then I started writing and the creating process. Why a grimoire book? Why not a spell book? My thing on social media has primarily been focused on journaling and creating content for grimoires. I first started on TikTok in 2020 and found that there was already so many witches creating incredible content surrounding spell work. I wanted to stick with what I loved the most, which was the creative and artistic side of magic. What is the book about? Is it about how to make a grimoire or does it include other information? It is primarily a guide on how to create your grimoire from scratch and how to put your energy into it to essentially make it your sidekick in your magical journey. That being said, there are lots more helpful things and anecdotes peppered throughout the book, like a brief history of grimoires, my journey with them, practical tips on paints and art tools. There's lots packed into those pages. Is it for beginners or advanced witches who already have lots to write in their grimoire? It's meant for anyone who wants to document their craft. A grimoire is an encyclopedia really, so as long as you have something you want to remember or create a spread for, you're going to have content for it. It doesn't matter if you've been a witch for five minutes or five years, there are beginner tips in there. So I give ideas for what kind of things you might want to write about, but there's also information in there for experienced witches. How did the book come about? Was it an intention or did it evolve? As I mentioned before, it was physically manifested through my editor's first contact with me and with help by my publisher. But I spent a long time and a lot of effort between 2020 and the start of 2022 using my energy to bring an opportunity like this into my life. I created lots of things for people to read, such as guides for my patrons or the monthly e-magazines that were really popular. I wanted to write a book I have done ever since I was little. I didn't ever think it would be a beautiful artistic guide like this book is, so it was a nice surprise. Are you going to write more books? That is my intention. 
I am writing a lot for my patron at the moment, but it is my hope to write some more helpful, creative witchy books, as well as some fiction and some non-witchy, non-fiction nature books. It's a career that I am definitely going to pour all of my energy into, so hopefully this isn't the last of the book announcement videos. We are moving on now to some of my favourite pages about animals and birds. There are pages to be completed, but I particularly love my hair and my barn owl page. I drew the barn owl myself and it made me want to draw and paint more and more British wildlife. If you want to see some more of my own artwork and watercolours, pop along over to my Instagram and check out my highlight reel titled Art. This otter spread appears in the book and I teach you just how easy it is to create lovely artwork even if you think that you aren't a very good artist. All that you need are some watercolours, paper and scissors and you can create something very similar to this spread. I also made sure to include spreads from my last grimoire in the new one. I carefully transferred pages that I love and stuck them in this new grimoire. It feels lovely to see familiar spreads sitting amongst new ones. So that is the new, albeit unfinished, grimoire in all her glory. I'm looking forward to adding to her over the coming months, finishing the incomplete spreads and having her sit on my altar as I practice my craft. It felt so lovely to create her alongside my book, to take pictures and have her sat by my side as I typed and told people all about her. Imagine fanfare and drum rolls and fireworks, here is my book. I absolutely love the front cover and I love that it has my spread about hairs on it. Hairs mean so much to me in my practice so it means a lot that one should grace the cover. So this is the book. She is chock full of information. We'll have a quick flick through so you can see how beautiful the layout is inside and then I will show you the surprise at the end of the book. Here is the extra lovely thing about my book, it has papers added. You can flick to the end to find these beautifully decorated journaling papers that you can use in your own grimoire. The edges are perforated and are very easy to tear out, provided that you've not accidentally grabbed two pages like I'm just about to do. And it's very difficult to accidentally rip when you pull your chosen paper out. You can use these papers any way you choose and it's part of the brilliant, tactile, creative and hands-on energy that the book exceeds. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you for sticking with me the last year. I am planning a comeback to YouTube and I thought what better way than to announce my book. I really hope that you love it and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!